Well, we had a huge night for high school football on this Thursday, so let's get right to it. Start off in Marion County, the Bridgeport Fairmont senior rivalry renewed tonight at East West Stadium. The Indians visiting the Polar Bears. It was a slow start for both offenses, but Zach Rorig opens the scoring here, twisting his way into the end zone from two yards out, seven nothing Indians. The Polar Bears. Took some time to get going, but they finally got the spark from their quarterback, Brody Whitehair. Busts loose down the sideline. A 39 yard touchdown ties the game with 326 to play in the opening half. Ensuing kickoff, though, don't let Ty Martin find a seam. He breaks out down the sideline and has to be chased down by the kicker, Nate Flower, who will trip him up inside the 10. Phil Reed punched it in two plays later for the go ahead touchdown. Now, less than a minute to play in the half. Whitehair on the two minute drill takes a shot, and he's got. Jaden Chariza, who's gone to the house, 63 yards, tie game at half. Each team traded stops early in the third, but a long Bridgeport drive ends with a seven yard scoring run for Rorig. Just over a minute to play in the third, but again, the quick strike offense of the Polar Bears. Trey Longwell makes the grab, slips through three would be tacklers, and he's off for the 50 yard touchdown. Bridgeport ran over eight minutes off the clock to start the fourth quarter. Taylor Thomas goes out for a 37 yard field goal, and it's good. The Bears driving in the final minutes, but a penalty and three incompletions force fourth and 27. Jermaine Lewis drops the screen pass, and Bridgeport comes out on top in an instant classic 24 to 21.